If you know a couple of angles and a side or a couple of sides, you can draw a really precise triangle from that information. But what we're going to focus on here is really just trying to get a general sense of triangles by sketching it based on the information. So the easiest way to show you how, how we're going to sketch these triangles is just to do an example. So we want to sketch triangle DEF where we're told the lowercase d side is 10 centimeters, E is 12 centimeters long, and F is 6 centimeters long. So those are all the side lengths of the triangle. And we're going to try to use this sketch to estimate an angle in the triangle. So to start, I always like to have one uh, side of my triangle just be flat and uh, like, like horizontal. And that's going to be the bottom side of my triangle. I just think it makes it a lot easier when we're trying to sketch to keep things straight. And then what I like to do is I like to just go in order, uh, D label, label where the vertices are going to be D, E, and F, even though those vertices aren't there yet. So D will be lower left, E will be top, F will be on the side. You don't have to do it uh, like that. You could start with D at the top and, and so on. But I just, I think it makes it a lot easier to be consistent. And then once we've sort of decided where each of these vertices is going to be roughly, uh, that'll help us start filling in the side lengths. So now across from big E, we have little e, and we're, we're told that that's 12 centimeters. And now we're ready to start sketching those other two sides. So we're told that F is only 6 centimeters long and D is longer at 10 centimeters. E is going to be our longest side. So F is going to be short and across from capital F. So this is going to be a shorter side, maybe something like that. It has to be about half the length of 12 centimeters. And then lowercase d would connect those two sides across from big D. So there's our lowercase f. There's our lowercase d. And we can label those. f is 6 centimeters. And now is it perfect? No, but I think it looks pretty good. Uh, you know, D is shorter than E. F's about half the length of E. I think this looks pretty solid. And what this lets us do is it lets us finally estimate what should uh, angle E be roughly. And now because this is going to be an estimate based off a rough sketch, it's not going to be perfect, but we can do our best. And to me, it, it, you know, I, if I was to sort of sketch this line off side F, that would be my 90 degree angle. Uh, what that means is that the angle E has to be a little bit bigger than 90 degrees. And so I could estimate that angle E is probably about, I don't know, 100 degrees. I think that's pretty reasonable. It's a little bit bigger than 90. Maybe you could say 110 or so. But you can see it's not an exact science, but as long as we can see that you're making a good effort to get reasonably close, it's, it's all good. In the second example, we're asked to sketch a triangle PQR, where angle P is 29 degrees, angle Q is 104 degrees, and we're told side length Q is 4 kilometers. They ask us to determine angle R and then use our sketch to estimate side length R. So to start with, uh, we're told to determine angle R, not estimate it, and that's because we have the other two angles in the triangle. So if all three angles in the triangle have to be 180, well then angle R is going to be equal to 180 subtract the other two angles that we know. So subtract 29 minus 104, and we should be left with just angle R. So if we run through that subtraction, we get that angle R is 47 degrees, and now we know all three angles in our triangle. So we're ready to get to the sketch. And uh, I'm going to start this the same way as I did the previous example, where I'm going to just pick the corners where, where they're going to be. So I'm going to pick corner P in the lower left, Q at the top, and, and corner R in the lower right. And then I'm going to draw a line going between P and R. So that side length Q, which we were told is 4 kilometers. So that's sort of the start of my sketch of the triangle. And now what I'm ready to do is try to actually get these angles in there. So to start with, angle P we're told is 29 degrees. And so to sketch a 29 degree angle, I'm going to start by, uh, you know, just very lightly drawing a 90 degree angle and then a 45 degree angle. And so a 29 degree angle is going to be a little more than half of 45. 
So maybe something like that. And now the angle, angle Q, that has to go from Q down to R, has to be 104 degrees. So I'm going to sort of sketch it along until I think that the connection looks like it would be a little more than 90. So I think I'm at a good point here. I'm going to sketch my 90 degree angle so you can see that uh, it would point not quite to angle or not quite to angle R there or over to point R. And then I can sketch my line. So this is 104. Does that look like roughly 104 degrees? I think so. It's bigger than a little bigger than 90. So that's about 104 degrees. I've got my angle P of 29 degrees, and now we can see my angle R actually looks pretty good. It looks pretty close to 45 degrees, and it should be 47. So I can label that as 47 degrees. And now I've got, in my sketch, all three angles. I've got a side length at Q, and now I can go ahead and use that to estimate side length R, which is across from angle R. So there's side length R. And for my estimate, I'm going to say that, well, it looks a little smaller than 4 kilometers, uh, but certainly not as low as half of 4 kilometers. It's only a little bit less. So I think a good estimate might be 3 kilometers or maybe 3.5 kilometers. I'm going to say 3 kilometers just to keep it nice and round. And so that's my estimate for side length R.